The film is about Julio. He's a young adult with a poor social skills. One day, he meets Myra, a girl that enjoys sneaking into other people's house to steal their intimate belongings, just like him. The film is 2018 released Spanish romance drama and the title of the movie is Lolsome Collectors. From the outside, young Julio looks to be merely a weirdo and a creep. Words actually used of him by his boss, by the landlady for whom he never has full rent and even his own father. From the beginning of the film, as we see Julio stroking and deeply sniffing items of clothing, that he is also a sensualist. In fact, Julio is emotionally crippled and lacking in the most basic social skills and so confines himself to intimate relationship with others through their material possession alone. Instead of getting to know people, he secretly tries on their clothes and breaks into their home when they are away to inhabit an idea of their inner lives without, in theory leaving any trace of himself. Julio is after all a stalker, even if it is clear that he would be terrified of any conversation, let alone actual physical contact with his targets. His loneliness and social isolations are gaps that he fills with fantasize with people, which he draws from superficial trapping of their lives. And so he is awaking to an online looker, steadily visiting the chat rooms, feeds and pages of others without even interacting. Allow touch to know the intimacy of others. Occupy the hollow to infuse a bit of verb into one's own emptiness. The appearance of a mysterious woman, Myra, will break Julio's routine. A girl that enjoys sneaking into other people's house to steal their intimate belongings just like him. One of the regular clients of the dry cleaners is a self-sufficient lonely woman who, when trying to elevate her loneliness with Julio, only discovers that he will not fulfill her dreams. The same goes for the client who, despite her apparent physical relation success with women, can't help but spend her nights watching adult movie. The film about the difficulties of relating today, where the fear of being hurt and loss prevents human connections. Julio, despite criticism from his boss, seems to live calmly, resigned to his aloneness and to the remedies he has found for it. He longs for human contact but hesitates to seek it. His tragedy is not failing to break his routine but rather that he did not have courage to do so out of fear.